Hello guys, I'm Daily Fix. Welcome back to X4 Re Emergence. So, uh, I spent some time just uh, doing uh, doing some maintenance actually because we have an economy and it was doing fine, and now we have an economy that's doing a lot better. A lot of new ships have actually arrived. Let's take a look. So, one of the things I did is I Continued constructing our, our trading station. It now has two large piers, which is great. And we, with me, it means me. Uh, I added a lot of the explorers. Uh, we have them in Antigon, Argon, Otas, Hulp, uh, Pargon, Pyo, and uh, Taladi. So these guys are just going to be exploring, and when they're done, I'm going to be looking into their territories and just see what we're like. I kind of also need one in in Windfall, but the one thing that I'm a bit afraid of is how the explorers will behave with um, with those systems with the tidal waves. Uh, I'm not sure if I can actually have them do it, but I'll just wait until one of them is finished and then. Um, uh, we'll just heal Miriam, I guess. So, one of the other things that has happened is I set up a whole bunch of, uh, of trading ships. And, oh, actually, it seems that we, uh, we still not finished. Wait, what? So one of the docking modules isn't done. Completely didn't realize that. But the manager is getting to a four star. We are slowly. Let's take over because I've been uh, doing. As you can see, transferring that was by accident. I actually gave it my I gave it back. Uh, let's just look for transfer. Oh my god! I can't type today. Transfer. Uh, that didn't help me at all. So I. Constructed a whole bunch of ships. I constructed a whole bunch of ships. I transferred this by accident, but that's back. And these are the scouts are built. So basically, we are currently running about six million an hour, which is not bad. You know, we got three factories, and and we're going to be expanding. We have six million in the bank. We have the Antigen Republic promotion ceremony going. The Otas, we can watch the live feed. And holy crap, I don't know if this it's the same with you guys, but the Otas? The Tempest? Holy crap. That is absolutely a terrifying ship. Let me get some screenshots in there because I made some because I was doing the off-camera work. And then there was a, a fight. Um, uh, let me get, I know I could do this post-production, but I, I, I'm just lazy. We know that, right? And, and we have, uh, some of the combat going on. They actually needed a whole bunch of, um, of the behemoths. And it took forever to go down. And it did do a absolutely terrifying amount of damage to the Argon Federation. And you can see that right over here. We have uh, contested areas in Morningstar 3. We have um, a Tikva's Choice 1 that is actually fallen. <sighs> I feel bad because I would love to side with the Otas. But I cannot have the Argon Federation being destroyed already. And I say already, because currently the amount of time that we've been spent is 17 hours. It's not that much. So yeah, 17 hours it took for the Otas to prove their superiority over the Argon Federation. And it's been... Eh, I don't know how to deal with that. Maybe we should absolutely do something about it. But there's one other thing that I would like to do. And that is we're going to be buying ourselves a new small ship. And I love the design... Of the Otas. I really do. I think this uh, seems like a very, very suitable ship. Uh, it's 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 fast. It's a four and uh, 410 uh, meters a second. Uh, the boosting speed is great. So I have high hopes for this. 
We need some combat engines on there. We got some shields. Now, the weapons. I've asked numerous times on, on how to go about with the weapons. And this is the setup you get with a high preset. I get it to an extent. The torpedo launchers, great. But we're not going to be using them. Uh, one, the Mark II doesn't provide you with uh, that much more missiles. It does. It gives you one. Also, this is not a real missile boat. It has 14 missiles with two of these launchers. And the launchers themselves, they provide you with two. So basically, this has only room for 10 missiles. I'm thinking that it's either going to be the Ark. Uh, yeah, because that's pure on shield damage. A good for uh, a good amount of of speed on the projectiles. 3.8 as a room. I don't need to know what the buttons do. I know the buttons. Uh, iron cannon is that Mark Two? Uh, there is none. However. Uh, 3.16 meters a second, and the other one was, uh, where the hell are you? Arc, 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 you would assume it's with a A. Argon, I'm blind, I'm sorry. The heavy, I think it's this one then. No, it's not, it's not a heavy one. Oh my god, I hate it when I do that. Uh, let's just go back over here. Arc Discharger. Uh, it wasn't. The rounds per second is a bit less. But I still think it probably is better because it's more expensive. You know, whenever you're not sure, just go with the most expensive ones, right? So I'm thinking two weapons to deal with shields. There's uh, no hull parts, which is okay. Uh, all of that. Definitely don't need torpedoes. What we do need is all of that. But we, we, we'll, we'll take it when we need to. Uh, let's get two marines. And this is the Venti. Let's add it to the shopping list. There we go. We spent a bunch of cash already. Now, the other thing that I would like to do is take a quick look at the factory. So, we're still uh, buying uh, the optional product, the labor union contract. That's why I need to make sure that there is money in the bank. Uh, we're completely filled up on graphene. Is there room? There is a whole bunch of room in the graphene factory. For the hull parts, uh, hull parts 14,000 lying about doing absolutely nothing. And the same basically goes with the refined metals. What we desperately need is more ships. And this is where I think we could, and I say could because I don't know for sure. This is where we need to start investing in some larger booty X XLF um, container ships as well. Okay, that, that's a no. So we have a bunch of freighters. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to assume 45, 45, 52, 41, 53. Which is the fastest? Oh my. That's, uh, that's a slow ass ship though. It's still slow. The speed is a bit better though. How expensive would the... Holy shit. Wow. It, uh, one of them... Look at this. Five and a half thousand the traveling speed. Which is absolutely gorgeous. I think that is great. Defensibility is a bit low. But that's fine. You know, the ship is designed for... Uh, Freightering stuff. Six. Okay, okay. The Vanguard. Look at them. a good amount of crew there. Uh, is this the Sora? Yeah, it is. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume if I'm going to go large and with these prices, uh, that's not very likely uh, to be sold. I, I'm sorry. I always do that, but my God, that is expensive. So, the Argon Federation. Is still, 
it's still nearest to me, but I'm starting to think that we might need to start investing with the anti-gun. Um, usually going with the low preset, we can get traveling engines, but I'm keeping combat engines on because, um, because why not, I guess. Service crew members, 1.1 million. There's never hull parts around, and that's my issue with them. Our ships, medium, transport, slow. Well, how fast is, the, is it on high? That's actually quite decent. Let's go into the encyclopedia. Let's, uh, let's check that out. Uh, we have the mercenary sentinel of the mercury sentinel. Uh, medium sentinel. Uh, so one is low. And why? Okay, what's the di what's the difference? Speed wise, it's close to doubling up. Boosting wise, it's close to doubling up. Traveling speed, however, is extremely slow. Maybe we should actually change. Uh, let's put argon on. Traveling engines. Then, combat. Terran. Oh man, I hate it when they do that. Argon Mark II. Weapons, fine. Next. Uh, Argon, traveling, combat, shields, weapons, fine. Sorry. Low tier, high tier. What do you say, guys? Do we invest in upgrading the ships? So, the cost to do that... Wow. That, that's, that is quite expensive, actually. 1.6 million. Yeah, 1.6 million. It's, it's it's doubling the speed, though. Doubling the speed could potentially be incredibly important for us. You know what? I'm going to hold up for a second. We're going to be building a new factory. We're going to be building it in the reach. I've talked about that on numerous occasions. Uh, but we do need to get ourselves a solar power plant. I think it is actually time to do it. Now, this is the um, the highest yield system. Let's get ourselves the luxury. Yeah, let's flip that around because they come in from over that angle over there. Now, we do need storage. And I'm still contemplating on... These are small. I don't want to use small. These are way too large. I know that for a fact. If I move it to the side. That's, that's down. I don't want to go down. And then. There you go. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Yeah, I think that is uh, close enough. I think that's close enough. Now, in the future, we definitely need large ships. How expensive is this joke? Uh, Argon construction ship. Uh, that's not too expensive. Let's uh, get that started. So, what does it do in amounts... I love it. You guys love it when, when I'm going all over the freaking place, right? Um, production says 10,500. We know that's not true, but we don't see it until it actually becomes available because the amount of sun in this system is 367. So that comes down to close to 40 
thousand and we can make that eighty thousand if we want to we need to transport that over here and then export it all over our tiny tiny little empire hmm <laughs> The venti is done. We're going to be picking that up. I'm going to do an order here. I'm going to keep it on low for the time being. Uh, and you guys let me know if it is, if it's worth it. Even, you know, this is actually already worth it. Going to traveling engines on all of those ships. Let's just check out one other thing. So the boosting speed goes down. But that is, um, that's quite, that's, that's quite a good, actually. So I think first step that I'll do right now is just change from combat engine to traveling engine. And I'm going to give the order for, uh, this is not enough. I need three. And I'm going to give the order to the venti to actually come my way because I'm not picking it up. That, that pilot can fly towards me. Okay, I am entitled to go down right now. Okay, so you look and wait over there. So I'll see you when he actually arrives. There is another thing that I want to do, and I know you guys hate it, but there is a ship, which I think is extremely cool, small size, combat ship, and it is the experimental shuttle heavy fighter. Looks amazing. It has six weapons. Uh, the one thing... Now, it is actually quite fast. Let's put it on a high preset. Yeah, it is fast. And it has a good amount of damage output. But we need a Terrans. I'm not sure if this ship can be bought because it's, it says experimental shuttle. Uh, so maybe it's not even possible. Anyways, I'll see you when the ships arrive. And I'll start upgrading my trading fleet. Oh my. So yeah, it's almost there. But you can see there has been a major engagement over here. And yeah, the equipment dock is being harassed by a Aquilo. And I think there's a majority is drones. Actually, no, there's a behemoth over there as well. Maybe we should take a look. If we can do... The problem is my relation with the Otas. Uh, what the hell are you? Is this plus 12? Which is... It's not very... Ideal. Hmm. Perhaps? Perhaps we could do the Taurus mission. So we can get the Genesis thing going. We at least know where the Terrans are then. Uh, you know, I need them all for my tra for trade partnerships and stuff like that. Because I don't know what the Xenon is going to be doing. I'm going to be assuming the Xenon are absolutely powerful. Um, very indecisive right now. We could also focus on getting Claytronics. Okay, what is the Argon Federation? What is, what's, what's the problem? So the Argon Federation's problem, by the looks of it, if we go out from the center, is advanced electronics, field coils, hull parts, smart chips, third components, weapon components. So basically, we could look into providing the Argon Federation... With more hull parts, smart chips, third components, and weapon components. Um, where's third components? Need microchips. We have the energy microchips. Um, what is the other car? Shield components or something? Yeah, we still have a lot of stuff to do, huh? And we do absolutely. Need to put some paste into this. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Uh, 
weapon components as hull parts. We have hull parts. So if we could get... Yeah, if we could get plasma conductors... We could start making weapon components. We have energy, we have graphene. We need super fluid coolant. And I think that is a base product. Because that needs helium and energy cells. I think we need to go that route. Yeah, where's, uh, where's my ship? This guy, we're going to be re-equipping. He's going to be my wingman. Wait, I, I've docked it up at the Argon Wolf. My god, I'm dense. Well, basic. what we could do... And it's actually not a bad idea. Nova, it's just go there. Uh, let's unlock. Quickly set a route over here. Because we do need to actually upgrade him. And then... I don't get why there is guild missions for the Argon versus the Holy Order. The Argon versus the Xenon. But it's not the Argon versus the Otas. Strangely enough, there's a bunch of mission here. Destroying Kach. Now, these are so easy. Uh, active. Active. Not going to do that. Destroy Xenon. Active. Find mules. Kach. Kach. Oh, these are all actually... I already got the... Oh my god, Daily, what are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Stop being so Auto absolutely pilot. stupid. Engage. We'll go there. We'll get the ship. We'll re-equip this one. We'll go to the wharf. I'm going to be getting... What, what do we need for shield components? I need to really start helping the Argon Federation out. Shield components. Plasma conductors and quantum tubes. Okay. Plasma conductors and quantum tubes. Quantum tubes need superfluid coolant. We're going to be getting that. Plasma conductors. Superfluid coolant. Okay. We have some money. We already know we have a problem with logistics. But... If I lose the Argon Federate, which is my, my number one... Uh, buyer from Hall Parts right now. Okay, so that's the beauty. I do really like the look of this ship, though. Really think it's cool. Oh, Thank this you. is such an easy way to get in. Okay, let's go. Uh, before I'm giving the order to upgrade uh, the other ship, let's test this one out. We'll uh, quickly go to the wharf, like I said. And... Let's see, where are I? Where's the wharf? Uh, shipyard. There it is. Okay, let's see the boost. Oh yeah, that goes really smoothly. Uh, weapon set up. Uh, secondary is going to be arc discharges. Oh yeah, I like that. How fast does does it go into travel? Oh, it it really goes fast though. Yeah, it's a cool ship. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, we'll go there. We'll pick up some of the blueprints. I was considering going Claytronics first. Uh, but I think... If the Argon Federation is... Going to survive... I really need to step up my game here. Really go heavy on the economy stuff. And make sure that we supply the Argon Federation with weapons. Docking granted. So, I'm hoping it's not too expensive. We got 3 million. Successfully docked. Oh. We're pleased to welcome you aboard. I also think that we should get ourselves the, one of those carrier ships. And... Tell them to bomb for Commander. So, they focus on the larger ships. Okay, you, uh, that's not what Good I needed. Modules, production. So, oh, we can actually buy these? Oh, wow. 
Why would you need to make them? I need to become a hero of the Federation. I'm not. I thought I had a, um, a very good standing with them. Uh, silicon, it's tempting. Where is the super fluid coolant? Don't tell me I can't get them. Okay, the super fluid coolant. Um, quantum tube is absolutely expensive. All right, let's uh, let's set up the super flu uh, fluid coolant base because it needs helium. Let's pause. Let's take a look. Where did, where can we find helium? A good amount of helium, that is. Uh, we've been going about it like so, and I want to keep that up. Uh, sunlight. Uh, that's not a whole bunch. Okay, let me find it. Okay, so I've been looking, and there is um, 2.812k helium in the Taladi gain. Uh, we do need a level 3 manager, but we could potentially use the guy who is uh, running the ore refinery that is extremely close to the trading port. So, three jumps should be okay. So, if we place in the helium refinery down here, I want it to be close to the defensive place. So, Daryl Rill already building... Uh, we can do that right over here. As long as we're not the first in line, I'm cool with that. Buy that license and continue. Yeah, green clouds everywhere. Uh, we need luxury docking. That would be fine. We will need two storages. Uh, one is going to be liquids, which could actually, I think it would be able to do that with small. Um, can, well, can we fit this? Let me just check this out real quickly though. Superfluid coolant. We'll need hard points. Cross connection. Cross connection, and I want. I think it's. Well, I've been going with two. I think. Let's remove you. Get you. Flip you about. Place it under. Copy that module. Copy this module. Keep you in like this for so. Let's confirm that. Let's take a look. So this will provide us with this is one module. So let's say three thousand with the labor contracts. That will be six thousand. And how much energy does it? Doesn't need that much energy. Helium wise. It's only needing 10,000. I think this is going to be enough. Famous last words. I am aware of that. But this um, this is going to be the base for now. Uh, we can actually use these like somewhere else. So we can ba build more of these. Would you, we can use storages like this to uh, bridge gaps. Uh, how many of these is one? Hmm. Yeah, that could be a problem. That could be a problem. Let's remove you. You don't like so. And we'll just bridge the gap. For future uh, production wise. Confirm those changes. Accept the estimate. Uh, we'll get this to Lardy. My, come on man. Where's the Tlardy uh, construction ship? Tlardy construction ship. Hire you. We have been going with. 
two mining ships and two freighters. So let's push that out there. We have Taladi territory, so we'll just use them again. Buy mining ship. Gas mining. I hate it when I see these old bl ass blueprints. Uh, combat engines for mining ships is fine. That's not bad, actually. Wow. Um, they're fast. Not bad at all. It's also not that expensive. So let's get two. Confirm. Uh, we'll wait until we get some money. We get some Taladi ships in there. Uh, once this starts building, we'll transfer the ore guy to the Taladi station. And we'll get that going. That means that I'm not going to have some money. What we can do is hunt for some Kach ships. Uh, so we can actually do some of those missions. We know there is um, a system full of them uh, right over there. But oh my, I do not dare to venture into that. Yeah, I don't want that. That's just scary. We'll find some heavily mined system and see if there's some car. Welcome to okay. the Aurora Casino. An exciting experience like uh, no I've other. I've been in this system Enjoy before. And discover a wide variety of your favorite games. Xenon invaders, ride the tide, travel in Talati. You name it, we've got it. Visit our establishment now for a generous starter bonus with the potential to win real credits. Where else would you show off and improve your skills if not at the Aurora Casino? Yeah, okay, I guess. Pays out millions of credits. That's a score for the lucky ones. Are you the lucky one? Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe. So we need 60, which is not a lot. Uh... Let's do 120. Uh, no restriction. They could absolutely bring that stuff to me. The energy is... I'm going to leave it unrestricted for now. Because I quite, I do not have the capital to, uh, to get those two ships. Uh, why? Because I completely forgot I was building an energy power plant. And I'm... I'm very focused on doing the Taladi stuff before uh, first. Now, like I said, money-wise, we are not doing that badly. So all of these stations, they quickly will get their stuff. Uh, if you actually are getting everything in, that's great. And construction in this mod is stupidly amazing. And I think that it, it should be in the base game like this. Uh, definitely not going there uh, to the casino. Uh, destroy the ship's turrets. Uh, opposing faction, the Taladi Company. Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen uh, at any time soon. Uh, once this uh, one factory, let's close these down, uh, is actually built. This one, uh, we can assign them. We'll transfer the guys over and we'll get ourselves two more freighters just to deliver some energy to the trading station. Uh, and then I'm, I'm going to assume that we will need Entering probably 30, 30 uh, min, uh, uh, medium ships. Yeah, I'm very on the fence about this because I'm not sure. Is that large? Let's remove these. Are there XL freighters? Yeah, there's one. What faction is this? Uh, Kagawa. So I'm going to say Terran. Would the pioneers have them? They do. Oh, that is expensive, though. And I need a military capital ship license for that. Not the military. I need the pioneer's capital ship license for that. 
That is so cool. I love that. That's some medium ships. Can we do uh, freight for? Can, can we do trading for Auto commander? Pilot. That would be great. Uh, so I absolutely decided that I was actually going to that um, to the system. So what I would like to do is is get in there, see if I can hoard a few over in this region, and hopefully not die in the process. So yeah, wish me luck. I do not want to drop out of traveling drone, so I'm definitely not going to be using. Entering system, cats reckoning. Okay, which is the nearest? Let's pause. Defensive platform over there. I'm just going to be hovering over it and then head Queen's back. Guard within okay. Sensor Ooh, range. Oh shit! Oh no! Ooh, there's so many of them. Get. Ejecting. Okay, well. Space suit. Well, mistakes were made, okay? Oh, boy. Can, can I do that? Uh, there goes my new ship. <laughs> Oh, I feel like such a bloody idiot. Yeah, that was that was so fast. Can I teleport? I'm so screwed. Well, luckily, uh, we still have the other ship, but um, worried. Oh no! Oh no! I'm so going to get Death killed. Successful. Are they going to kill me? Okay, so far I'm not dead yet. Oh man, no way. Do I actually have teleportation one? It appears some Terran technology is being used to research teleportation over long distances. <laughs> Well, guys, I absolutely... I have this one up. Um, quite a bit. So, there's, there's one thing that I'm going to do, and that's safe comment. I should have saved before I got into this. I didn't. I'm going to be losing progress. Uh, so, that means I'm going to be ending the episode off here. Um, I will not fake uh, that I didn't do this. I'm going to leave it in. Oh, that was so stupid. Also, a lot of medium ships with the cock, and I didn't think about that one. So, yeah. Ah, mistakes were made. What I will do in between is I'm going to be working on my logistics a bit more, but also getting some more blueprints uh, so we can at least get turret components, shield components. Uh, yeah, I think those two will help out uh, a lot. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Sorry that I really messed this one up. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.